For those of you that are into creating and editing your own video or audio compilations, there's a great website out there that offers free tools for editing multimedia without having to download any software. The website is found at Criaza.com and you can click on register to create a new free account. Once you've registered, click on the My Media Files option and begin uploading media such as pictures, video files, or audio files. For the free version, you're only limited to 25 megabytes of storage, but that should suffice for short projects. After uploading the files that you need, click on the Tools option to access the editing tools that Criaza has available. Let's look at Mindomo first. Mindomo is a mind mapping tool that allows you to map out ideas or stories. You start with the central topic and then you can add adjoining topics or subtopics. And for each of these, you can add notes, hyperlinks, multimedia, and tasks that correspond with it. Once you have your map complete, save it and exit out of the window. Next we'll look at the cartoonist. You have several different formats to choose from and basically you can use this to create your own web comics or just to use it for storyboarding your video. On the right side of the screen you can add different types of things to the cartoon such as backgrounds or characters. Then for the characters you have the options to change their mood or give them speech bubbles. Once you have all the elements added you can then click on new slide to create the next frame of the cartoon. Then when you're through you can save it and exit out of the window. Now we move to the audio editor. You can add up to 8 tracks and the audio files that you can choose from are on the right. Just select the sound clip and drag it to one of the tracks on the mixer. To find the music that you uploaded go to my media files and drag over any of the tracks that are listed. Then you can do things such as split the audio clips into different parts, resize them and rearrange them. When you're through save it and close out of the window. The last tool is the video editor, so go ahead and launch it. And at the top you'll see a tab for My Media Files. Select that and you can choose from the files that you've uploaded. Drag a video clip to the timeline and just like the audio editor you can split it and adjust its size. You can also add photo and audio clips that you've uploaded. If you click on the graphics tab you can add effects or even text to your video. When you're through click on save and close out of the window. Now if you're wondering how you can access everything that you just created, well there's good news and bad news. The bad news is you can't download or export these files with the free version of this software. The good news is that you can still view them by clicking on home page and sending the links to your friends and family so that they can view them. Essentially this product is aimed at giving people an educational platform for learning editing and not intended for actual productions. So if you use it as a tool for learning how to edit using multimedia programs, then this website is perfect for you. If you have any questions, please let me know on my new Facebook page or feel free to send me a tweet via Twitter. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.